Hi, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to use Amazon bestsellers to find niche category ideas. Now remember, niche category ideas, we're not actually going to be researching this part. So what we are, we're just trying to come up with a bunch of ideas for our niche categories. And um, you know, don't worry about uh, the products in that category, what price they are, anything. Um, just try to find uh, a niche category that you are interested in. Now you can click on that link I left in the course, in the tutorial there, um, to get to Amazon bestsellers if you don't know where it's at. And what I'm going to do is go through this uh, categories here on the left and try to come up with some ideas for uh, my niche category. Now I've got quite a bit of kids so I've actually know quite a bit about baby products. I've bought a lot of them over the years so I'm actually going to look in this category here and try to find something that I would be uh, interested in or have some knowledge about and you need to remember that when you're picking these out uh, that you know maybe something you want to learn more about also because you'll be sticking with this site for a little while before you get the hang of it and you don't want to be waking up every day uh, or every other day writing content that you are not interested in it just gets be, starts to become a drag and you just don't want that to happen so actually I'm gonna go to potty training here Let's see here there's some um, subcategories and I, do, I doubt there's any more subcategories under this there's, yep there's no more but just by looking at this it gives me an idea so uh, I'm gonna I made that folder on my desktop that I recommended you do and I'm gonna make a text file to save these niche category ideas in now for those of you real fast um, if you don't know how to make a new text document in Windows it's pretty simple you just put your mouse uh, in an area that's open like this and right click and if you scroll if you go down this menu here you'll see new and you can click on folder or a text document and usually when you click on it they allow you to write the name in there right away so I'd be, be able to put Amazon course if you wanted to change that you just click once uh, left click once on there uh, then right click once and you can press rename to rename it again I'm just gonna go ahead and delete this and I'm gonna make my text document that I recommended you make earlier so task one and I, I'm gonna name this uh, niche category ideas and open that up. Just by looking at this here I can uh, come up with some ideas like baby potties, baby baby seats, baby step stools, and travel potties. Now you just want to get a whole bunch of them that you think you might be interested in or know quite a bit about. Um, don't worry again about the product prices in this range in this uh, category and I'm gonna go find some more here uh, I'm gonna go to the top and I am always interested in electronics so let's go here how about some computer add-ons computer accessories computer speakers I'm not sure if there's a subcategory into this I doubt it but I found computer speakers there so here we go computer speakers I'm just gonna put that there speakers now while you're getting this list uh, of ideas I'm going to be showing you in the upcoming videos um, like using customer tags and other other ways to uh, find even more niche categories um, so I'm just going to put those that computer speakers in there and I'll probably use it later in the next tutorial to find uh, more ideas and you you want to get around maybe 10 20 who knows even 30 
ideas. The, the more you got, the more you have to work with when we get down to researching uh, these niche categories. And again, I'm going to go to the beginning. I'm always interested in toys. Never grew up. And of course, always interested in electronics. So I'm going to go for <laughs> electronics for kids. Now, just by looking at this, there might be some subcategories, or maybe not. But this gives you ideas like um, kids walkie talkies. And I'm going to go educational computers and accessories. Nothing under there. Um, and actually, electronics for kids might be a good one in itself um, that I might want to use. Kids karaoke. wonder how much people uh, go after that uh, niche. And since I'll be using a couple different methods to get these ideas, I think I've got enough ideas for now. Um, but you can always spend some time looking through some of these categories. Some of them go really deep. Um, for one that I've gone after before, if you go under baby, if you go under strollers, you've got all kinds here of strollers. Standard, your joggers, your tandem, which are double uh, strollers. You've got lightweight strollers, travel systems, um, and when you start doing more, uh, I getting trying to get more ideas with these keywords. Um, I've actually already done a site with one of these, switch strollers, but um, I'm going to just put them in here for uh, so when we go to the next uh, video tutorial um, to find. Uh, more ideas. So here we got standard strollers, uh, jogger strollers, uh, lightweight strollers, tandem tandem strollers, or double strollers. And that's about it for me right now that I'm going to get. Spend your time in there make sure there's lots of categories to go through and actually the more time you spend here the more things you you will find categories that you look at that you you might go oh yeah I got interest in that and I'm, our whole task for this uh, part of the course is looking for ideas no researching so don't worry about that part um, if you get a whole bunch of them most likely you will come across a niche category that works uh, with our research and our criteria that we, we're we going to go put it up against to make sure we can actually make some money there. And so don't worry about research and don't worry about looking at the products only I'm going to go after uh, plasma TVs because they or not plasma TVs anymore um, LED TVs, 3D TVs. I'm going to go after them because uh, they are a higher price tag. Um, don't do that. Um, I mean, if you really love TVs and you want to learn more about it, that's something you'd go after. But don't just go after it because it seems like there's more money uh, by selling one of those products. We're not looking for products right now. We're actually looking for our niche category. I'll see you in the next video.